So what are the next step? Um, as I mentioned in the chat, uh, in the coming days, so not today, but as from tomorrow, uh, we will upload in the in the link that we circulated several times all the slides, uh, the recordings uh, of the of to this afternoon, and I will also upload the draft standardization request, both the draft decision and the draft annex with the list uh, of the eight areas to be standardized. And I mean, it has to be understood. This is a draft in the sense that we are now consulting uh, the European standard organization, standardization organization. We are consulting uh, other uh, stakeholders. Uh, we are consulting the member states and we are consulting you as uh, and this is uh, this webinar is part of this consultation process. So uh, I invite whoever is interested to provide um, comments on the DPP system and uh, I have to repeat this again. We will not look into comments related to the content of the of the DPP or on general po policy questions because there will be other moments to discuss those in the process. Now we are focusing on the DPP system and the eight areas um, that the standardization request include. So if you have comments, please send them to me. You see my email here on, on this slide. The deadline is the 16th of July, close of business. Then afterwards, I and my colleagues, we will analyze the comments, we will also the comments that we receive from Sam Selec Etsy, and then we will issue a, a final version of the of the request uh, that hopefully will be accepted by by the standardizer so the work can start. We hope to finalize this process by the end of this year because we really need to start as soon as possible. Uh, as I mentioned several times, the standards had need to be delivered by um, December 2025. We are aware that the timeline is tight and we will do whatever it is in our power to facilitate the process so that we get to the, the final outcome that we all need. At the same time, uh, the, the legislation, the ESPR already provides for uh, uh, an emergency way out in the sense if the, the standardizers do not accept the standardization mandate request, sorry, or if there are uh, delays in the process, then the Commission is empowered to adopt the so-called common specifications, which basically are some transition standards that will be needed in order to make the DPP operational, waiting for the finalization of the standardization. We hope not to be that this will not be needed, but in case it is needed, we will have to start also working uh, in order to deliver that. So this was my my last slide. And uh, with that, I would like again to thank you all of you for the patience that you had with us with the technical issues that uh, that we had today. Uh, we will try to do better next time. Um, and uh, I would like also to thank all the colleagues who were with us that helped to, to make this uh, webinar hopefully positive and uh, I mean useful for you and uh, stay in touch we will uh, will uh, you will hear from us again soon okay thank you very much and bye bye to everybody